Da, 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 da. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby. We are back with more Pathfinders. Oh baby, this is going to be great. Let's continue our awesome little playthrough here. Now, uh, if you watched the first episode, you probably know that we failed it. <laughs> we failed it. It was so bad. I'm not sure if it's a combination. Well, it's a combination of, you know, luck, where I chose to go, decisions, which is why this game is really awesome. So, these are our new decks. I will show you these. Um, okay, so remember, every single campaign, you tend to obtain new cards. And through those new cards, you can make new decks, depending on your character's um, abilities, traits, and of course, uh, requirements. So, Let's show you what we got here. Weapons. Uh, I pretty much took out that dagger and I added some long swords. Feels good. No spells. We got um, kept, kept his armor the same. I'm keeping the luck stone and we got a potion of ghostly form. The ghostly form should help with literally any barrier to evade and explore again. It's a really important explore again. It's really nice. Um, next up, we have our same people, Night Watch and Standard Barrier and the Blessing of the Gods, Kyria. She's using two maces. Um, one mace was found last episode, so I took out the other item, which was, I think, a spear, and now we have the mace. Spells. We're keeping the same spells. Chainmail and wooden shield, same ones here. We I took out the holy water, and now we are going to use an orb of frost. I thought this person wouldn't be able to use it. It adds 1d4 to any combat trait, and then we have to um, attempt to recharge it. But we can use it because it's divine. I thought it was only arcane, so that's good for us. I got rid of the standard barrier every now and then using the Acolyte 1d4 to a Arcane or Divine check which combos with the Orb of Frost and Basic Orb of Blessing. And finally we got Karst here who's using, um, let's see, nothing new changed there, no spells. I got rid of the leather armor for the uh, half plate here. It's a pretty good item here. You just get rid of it to reduce combat by 3. You don't need the proficiency. And uh, let's see here. I got rid of the he he had holy water. I got rid of it for a potion of hiding, which is pretty good. And the crow is still here. Pretty awesome. And of course, we're using a new blessing called the Blessings of Dasna Desna that he obtained. Now what's really cool about this is he got it, but I can take it out and put it to another character. But we'll leave it for him. You know, he earned it, he got it. So remember discard this uh, card to add one die to any deck or discard to any check any you know to any check to recharge and discard to explore. So it's pretty much the same thing as this. It's really, really awesome. But this has another ability. After you play this card, if the top card of the Blessing card has the same Destiny or trait, recharge the card instead of discarding it. It's really, really good. Okay. It's really awesome. Uh, top card of the Blessings, top pause, Destiny or trait. So I, will, I want to use this when, you know, the 29 turns or whatever has literally Destiny on it. So that's our deck. Let's go again. Oh, I can banish some cards if I want. We can only hold 10 extra. So, I'm, I, you know, you, you can easily add people, take them out. But we're going to go with these three. want to get used to them. I think we can do it this time. I'm going to play this one nice and this is nice and easy peasy. Like I said, I'm not explaining the rules this time. Well, I will explain a little bit, but for the most part, we're going to go through it. Welcome back to the base game level one. Bring on Doom. We suck. Let's play again. <laughs> so here's hoping we get some amazing stuff. Um, so enemies... Uh, so, uh, okay, well, we already saw this. Let's go right into it. Last episode was about an hour to do, to do this. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit. Um, if a monster power causes you to recharge, then draw the same number. Okay, that confused me last episode because I was like, why am I obtaining cards? Let's we recharge. It's Jabrowsk Visky again. Before you act, redraw on two ones. We got some bandits to defeat. Oh, baby. All right, so it is the same five areas, I believe. Yes, it is. Wisdom or survival. Wisdom, check here. Dexterity, check. And defeat a bandit or henchman. Now, this one has a lot more in it. Let's do the waterfront for this guy. Last time we started him in the farmhouse... But I think we're going to start with the hard one here. So, you know, while he has all this stuff. Hopefully we don't get our guy killed this time either. And where's my mouse at, guys? I think my mouse actually just died. Oh my god, let me change the mouse. <laughs> That's a freaking feels bad moment. Okay, so while I'm changing the batteries, 
Let me go and explain the strategy that was employed last time and what we might change up this time. So, towards the end, I, you know, I don't know if it was a good idea or not, but I pretty much put both of the people, Kyria and Valoros, in the same area to back each other up. Um, it was nice because we were actually able to use the, that one ability, which was the teamwork, which added one D4. Oh, sorry, my battery fell. Which added one D4 to Kyria's combat rolls, which was nice, but uh, definitely did not need to use it in that last one. All right, let's go ahead and begin. Let the games begin. Pick the turn order. Huh. Hmm. Probably Kyria first. Yeah. Because she can heal people, so she would want to. If we need to, she can go into another area, heal them, and then they take their turn. Let's begin, boys. Sand points. Skip the preview. We're good. We're gooch. Alright, I'm gonna really try to win this time. Alright. Let's see what we start off with. No weapon. She only has two weapons in her deck. Let's go. Okay, wait, wait, wait. The undefeated monsters or henchmen are banished. Permanently closed, no effect. All right, we're starting starting off with a cultist. Now, we pretty much have a 0% chance to win. Uh, this guy, though, he has a light crossbow that I can discard it to add 1d4. We don't want to do that at all. Uh, Blessings of Dasnia. So remember, if the if the Blessing of Dasnia is up here, we can activate you know, this extra blessing so we can recharge it instead of discarding it. So that's really good. Um, he has two and a light crossbow. If we lose here, shuffle the top card of the blessings deck into the location deck. So we might, so I can just take the hit, but then we have to heal. So I'm going to activate one blessing here and give her at least a good chance. If not, this will happen, but I'd rather win. Come on, please. And we got him with a nice 10. Get wrecked. Um, I want to hold on to our blessings. Ugh, we ran out of time last time. We would have won, probably. <laughs> Alright, we're back here with the Valeros uh, Longsword, Longsword. So, this is what I looked at last time. This is called a Superior Longsword, and this is a regular Longsword. But they literally have all of the same stats except the check to acquire. So this is um, 1d8, so 1d8, 1d6, check increased by 4. 1d8, 1d6, and you may additionally discard this card to add another 1d6. You may additionally discard this card to add 1d6. Strength or melee. Strength or melee. If not proficient, difficulty check increase. If not proficient, difficulty of the check. See, it's the same weapon. Why? Why? What's the point, you know? All right, it's a giant gecko. We can easily handle him. I will just reveal it, right? It's just a reveal. Reveal. So an easy 81% chance we fail this. Please help me, God. All right, got him. We failed like some pretty good, I think we failed one eighty percent chance and one ninety percent chance last time. I did not check out this ability here on the top left. When using a weapon, subtract one from each die rolled. Are you serious? When using a weapon, huh? After your exploration, you may discard two cards to explore again. Dang, you can keep going? Well, two cards, no. No, thank you. But that sucks. A weapon, though. I guess the water makes sense. Like, oh, it's like rusty water. Negative one. All right, so we're good here. Everyone has a weapon except the uh, Kyria. Are you are you kidding me? We found Jabralviski. So if we kill him, we close the area. So that's good. I will definitely use all my blessings to try to win this fight. And wouldn't you know it, the dwarf found him again. Wow, what a freaking hater, dude. All right, um, I do not want to close the locations. I will leave it. It's okay. Well, actually, I can try, because in this one here, it's just a it's just a survival check. Six. Perfect. Got it. So we know he will not go there, but to close this one, you must defeat a bandit. I don't want him to fight again, so I'll go. It's okay if he switches another area. Um, the good news fighting him now is the area gets closed like right away. This is his first turn and we're finding him. It's actually pretty crazy. Okay, so I can use that to evade. Oh, we fight. We should be able to win this for sure. I'm going to use a light crossbow here. Oh, I have to recharge two cards. I will recharge my crossbow and my blessings of the gun. Recharge both of those. So we draw two new ones, which is fine. I'm going to use my light crossbow. 76% chance. Is anyone else? She has two blessings. I'll use one here. 96% chance. This area is going to get closed right off the bat. Easy peasy. Thank God, 20. So unfortunately, we're not getting a lot of items from this place, but it's closed. Uh, I think we get a lot of extra money for the cards. I think. Uh, let's see. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So those cards are just gone. I think we got a, I guess we got a little bit of money off that. Oh, uh, okay. That's good. He didn't die this time, boys. 
We got a sling off that. All right, let's begin here. We can heal. We don't need to heal. Um, okay. Let's go. So that was temporary clothes. That's now open. Treasure map. Wow, what is this item here? If defeated, examine the top card of your location. If it is a boon, you may draw it. If undefeated, you may banish this barrier. Uh, don't want to do anything special here. Good. If defeated, examine the top card. If it is a boon, you get to keep it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw it. That's really good. Masterwork tools. Ooh, reveal it to add two to disable. Recharge this card to defeat a barrier who is level 14 or lower. So that's that's good. Cure. All right, we're good. I'm taking it nice and easy. We can we can slow down. We don't have to you know waste items to keep going because we just essentially killed the place. Thank God we found that Droskar guy. So he's not gonna be okay. So he's not gonna be in Curious Place, but he might be in Valeros. Uh, Valeros's. Valeros Kyra Harsk. There we go. Oh, another chest. This is really good. Actually, ooh, we can do a potion of ghostly form to banish it. <sighs> I didn't realize this is banished. This is a one-time use. It's really good. All right, 60% chance for new items. It's really, it's actually really good for the items there. All right, 60% chance. Let's go. Ooh, 11. So four new items. Holy crap, that's actually amazing. Well, a D4. And no, just kidding. Four new items. I got it, boys. I got it. Oh, man. This is going to be great. Okay, we got a couple of new ones. This is a holy text. Recharge this item to add 2d4 to a divine combat check. That's really good for um, Kyra. Hopefully, I get to keep that holy water. It's whatever. Braces, protection, whatever. New shovel. And banish this card to recharge one of your buried. That's interesting. All right, so we're going to discard a couple. Get rid of this. Two water and discard this. We're not using it. All right. As long as they're not banished, we get to keep them. So we finish this area. Time to move on to the next one. Um, let's go for the easier one, which is the farmhouse. Defeat a random monster to close the area. And let's begin. 11 people in it. Huh. Interesting. Zombie. If defeated. Okay, okay. Have the damage immune. All right. So, what's the difference? Okay, so this is a 79% chance, and this is a 84% chance. Why would I use the sling over the crossbow at any point in time? For a combat check, reveal it. Uh, 1d6. You may additionally delete it for another 1d4. If proficient, you may discard it. Oh, okay. So this, okay, so this is good on its own, and it can help other people. This is good on its own, but it could be even better if you discard it. 94% chance, which we won't. I'm just looking. All right, we'll do this. So I have to keep my eye on this thing. If the blessing ever turns into the butterfly, right? After you play this card, the top card, the blessing card of the discard pile has a designated trait. The top card of the blessings discard pile. So here? Okay, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, this is the discard pile. Okay, okay, good. Confusing. All right, 84% chance. Hopefully we win. Good. Looks like RNG is uh, on my side today. Feels good, man. And we don't have to rush it. We don't have to rush it. Let's keep going. I can look at the top. I totally forgot. Goblin Warriors next. If defeated, bury a random. If defeated, bury a random weapon from your discard pile. If undefeated. Ew. All right. We're good. Next is Kyra here. What else we got? A bandit. Ooh, check this out. If we kill it, we can close the place down. Pretty good. I have to recharge an item, get rid of the masterwork tools. Aha. No weapon. What is bad? Um, so I, I discard this to help us out, right? Ooh. Or we can use the blessing ourselves, which we will. Let's make this into a 72% chance. Got it. Now we can close the place by doing a wisdom of six or higher. We have a D12 plus two. Or not plus two. But it's still a D12. I really want this to be closed, so I will activate this. I do not want to get shafted on a 68% chance. So two areas closed, guys, in like 15 minutes in the video. That's really awesome. Give me that money, money, money. Awesome. Very good. Feels good, man. All right. How you doing, man? A blessing of Aristil. Wow. It's a new blessing. I really want to grab this. Um, blessing of Aristil. 
62% chance. We can't buff it, so hopefully we get it. <laughs> ah, he sucks. Feels bad. That was a dexterity check, wasn't it? All right. Well, we're done with this. Oh, no, no. She finished the other area. This was the goblin, right? Goblin warrior. Uh, let's see here. Light crossbow. 84% chance and 18. Pretty much doubled it. Get super wrecked. You give me that freaking gold right now. Mm, where's the gold? Don't get gold for defeating it. It feels cap a bit. There you go. One gold. All right. Next one is the thieves tool. Pretty basic dexterity check, I believe. Yeah, dexterity disable four check. It's all good. Okay, you're done. Let's move. There's only one place left. So good. One person is going to kill him. Yeah, that's good. Well, I mean, he might run away, but we're good. This is... Oh, this one is an intelligence or arcane check. Perfect for us. Wait, actually... Do we have arcane or intelligence on our character? Arcane or intelligence? No, we have intelligence of six. This is intelligence of six. Ooh, to close it. Oh, well, wish me luck. Burglar, really good. Hopefully we get this guy. Ah, 16% chance. Our charisma's low. If it was a Valor, uh, Valor, it'd be good. So yeah, I wasn't expecting to get it. That's fine. Wow, we picked up an Orb of Frost. Look at that. On a character's combat, display it. While displayed, add a 1d4. It's really good. At the end of the turn, if you do not have it, banish it. Otherwise, bury it. Or you may attempt an Arcane 10 or Divine. So it's really good. We can potentially use it forever. <laughs> but then we can't, we, you know, we have to recharge it, so it's bad. Uh, good. Do I have to discard one? If you fail, discard a weapon or an item. <gasps> no, I have to discard. These are, this isn't a weapon, this is an armor. I have to discard my orb? I was just showing off how cool it was. Damn you, burglar, you piece of shit. I can keep exploring, because here, anything other than a spell, you may explore again. I don't have a weapon, though. No enemies, please. Acid arrow, that's good. Oh, I can use this to get it. Um, if I recharge this to add one D arcane. See, I was gonna combo that. Actually, no, 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 I wanna keep the acolyte here for the closing part. I don't care about this acid arrow. I, I got it, but I'm not like so like happy for it. Cause if we activate it, it's banished cause we don't have the arcane skill. So that's whatever. All right, this guy's still here. Everyone moved already one. Uh, mercenary! If the difficulty... Okay, so this is a 10. 40%. Uh, um, more like a 65%. Ooh, 65. Got him! Oh my god, we barely hit a 10. You remember, the roll was like from each die. So pretty much we rolled two less. That was really bad. Alright, we got him though. Ooh. Alright, what else we got here? It was a master tools. Thieves tool set here. You know what's pretty funny? I could have used the thieves tool set to disarm the thieves tool set. What's the crow do? Discard to explore again. I will. A bandit. A cool. If we kill him, we'll be good. Recharge one. Recharge my thieves tool. Thank you very much. And okay. Now combat up with my. What's the short bow's uh, advantage over the light crossbow? Short bow advantage. One d six. If proficient, you may discard it to um, add 1d4 check to another location. If proficient, 1d4. So this is 1d8, 1d6. So essentially, it's the same thing, except this one is just better. So if we ever find another light cross, we'll get rid of this, right? Okay, so 90%. Oh my god, we barely won that. I cannot believe it. So we finish it. Let's close the location by defeating a random monster. This is a hellhound. Add one die to checks to defeat the Hellhound that has the cold trait. Cold trait. See if we were the, um, if we were Cairo, we'd be able to activate that. Maybe if we had the Arcane Rune. After you act, the Hellhound deals one fire damage to each character. That's not good. I think I'm actually going to, um, like, okay, it says 76. Yeah, let's do it. Got him. Defeated, and we take a hit, right? We're supposed to take a hit. I'll get rid of the Thieves tool. So now the area is closed. We're good. This is great. Look, we're, we're totally defeating this this, this, uh, this scenario. It's no problem. Holy crap, we're doing wonderful. Way better than the last one. Let me actually look at the map. Two areas left. He's either in Valoros's Kyra's place, and the dwarf can just go help out, and he can shoot the other person, you know, the other guy's area. This is good. This is like going really well. Okay. Force missile. 
Arcane skill. Dang, I kind of want to make a mage now for all this stuff. Maybe I should add a mage to my party. That would be amazing. After playing this card, if you don't have the arcane, banish it. Huh. Interesting. Force missile. Okay, don't care. If I get it, I get it. Failed it, whatever. Okay. We're done. Okay, let's go. Standard bearer. This is a really good card to have. Uh, Hopefully we get it. Yeah, seven. Really good. So we just got her. I'm now going to discard so we get the ability to keep going. Goblin Warrior. We'll easily defeat him. So uh, look at that. Got your back uh, ability too. It's a freaking... I, can't, I hate how there's dailies in. I, this is a standalone game, but it still has like some mobile traits in it, dude. Uh, I should be able to just have the quest permanently and not do it for three hours. Come on, game. I bought it. Anyway. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yeah, with the upgraded deck that we have, I feel like we have a much better chance. Also, it's just RNG. We were able to close like how many places? Three to four places, like back to back is so, so good. So every run is going to be a little different. We finish this area. Let's go help out um, over here because he has the teamwork ability, which means it adds one damage to a uh, 1d4 to um, Harse's abilities here. Perfect. So we're going to do a light crossbow. Oh, we have to recharge one and charge my short bow. Recharge that. 1d4 added. So we have, look at that. So good. So good. So he's not here. Guys, I have to defeat a bandit or a henchman to close the location. Recharge again. Yeah, recharge uh, my sling. Dude. Dude, this is great. Oh, man. Add another crossbow here. It's 86. Give me those easy kills. Oh, yeah. That means there's one area left. And that means everybody is going to go there and defeat this guy. It's going to be awesome. I have to discard another one? Why? Yeah, whatever. Oh, he has to discard one. Probably when we finish the area. Okay, good. Good stuff. All right. <laughs> what if she, I hope she doesn't find him now. Now. Okay. Ooh, if we uh, close the location, though. We have to recharge one. I'll recharge Acid Arrow. I don't need that, really. Alright. I don't have a weapon. I can get rid of the crossbow to add 1D something here. And a blessing. 13. Now we can close the area. I'll close the location. It's an intelligence check, so we, we'll recharge the Acolyte. We charge the Acolyte. And we'll do a blessing of the gods here. 10. Good. So now we've closed every single area. The boss should pop up now, right? Or it's over? Okay, so do we fight him or is it over? I don't know. I've never done this. I think we kill it though, right? Oh, you know what's going to happen? This guy's going to kick some ass now. There you go. This is it, boys. Let's draw this guy. Take him out. Before you act, recharge two cards. Let's see the little, uh... Let's see this. So I'll recharge this. Recharge the chainmail. We're going for the kill, man. We're going for the kill. Alright, this is really good. So, we're going to activate the longsword. 81% chance. I'm going to activate the blessing here. 97% chance. Oh, but I'm also going to do the crossbow. 99% chance. Oh, I'll do another one. 100% chance. Well, no. Oh, look at all the dice, boys. Blah, 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 blah. Mmm, wow, 17, really? We did it! Oh, that was a really quick one. I yield. I ain't been paid enough to get killed over Van Der's Hall. Cough up the name of your boss. Perhaps we can just settle this over a few tankards. Telling you it won't help me to live a ripe old age. Better just take me to the share of Hemlock. Cheers. Got him. Wow, very good. Last time took forever. But we did it. We did it. We did really well this time. 88 bucks, boys. And we got cards for everybody. Ooh, scenario rewards. We got new stuff. All right, we got a healing poultice. Bury this card and choose a character at your location. Shuffle 1d4 random cards from the disc pile. Ugh, maybe. What did you get? 
Amulet of Life. Discard the card to reduce three damage dealt by you by three. After playing it, you may succeed at an arcane or divine to recharge instead of discarding it. Uh, probably give it to Kyra. Huh? Here we go to Kyra. And finally, Pouch of Vision. You banish this card to succeed at a non combat perception check. Ooh, interesting. All right, we finally we got our first thing. Let's go ahead and fix up everyone's thing. So she got another extra spell. We don't need that. Potion, Master World. Okay, she can only have one item, so we'll keep the healing of Frost there. Um, look how many items he has, man. Shovel, Bracers, Holy Water, Text, Amulet of Life. I think I wanted to give Amulet of Life. No, I don't. I want the Over Frost. Um, two of the people here. Standard Barrier, Non-Strength Constitution, One Perception Check. Um, Non-Combat Strength or Constitution, Perception Check. Not very perceptive. Get out of here. Okay, we got to go down here. Let's see. Thieves tool, vision, banish it for a stealth check, banish it for a perception check. Um, I mean, it's just it's just luck whether or not which one's going to be useful. But we could have both and get rid of the crowbar, but the crowbar is pretty good. Uh, let's see. One die to non-combat strength or your check to defeat a barrier that has a lock or obstacle trait. You may discard to even add another die so we reveal it so it stays on us, which is really good. So we have 21 unclaimed cards. Which means we're going to have to delete a bunch of cards here. Um, so, we'll get rid of the armor here. We'll get rid of the Blessing of the Gods. This one. Let's see. Holy Water. Potion of Hiding. Uh, we'll get rid of that ass. Oh, I really want to keep these for a mage character. Uh, nah, we'll just stick to our guys. So, we'll get rid of this. Two, three. Got to get rid of one more. I mean, am I, I mean, I'm really just getting rid of stuff here. I'm not really using too much of it, huh? So Thieves will. So we get 11 coins off of that uh, for banishing a bunch of cards. You think that's a lot? That's a crap card, right? Like crap money for that? And you'd probably be absolutely right. It does, does not feel like a lot of money for that at all, dude. At freaking all. Treasure chest reward. Treasure chest contain uh, rare cards, dice, character, equipment sets. You can open your treasure chest by clicking the treasure icon in the store. So I just, do they just give me one for defeating the thing? Did I get one? Clicking it in the store. You have to buy it? Oh, dude, they're telling me that I have to buy it. Look, they're like, hey, you finished it? You come over here and buy it now. 500 for each. Um, so we, we, we defeated one and we got about 200 bucks. I think about 40 last time, so it's not bad. Okay, so I'm not showing you guys the store yet. Let's take a little peek around. Uh, a couple of tabs here, the treasure chest, you can buy a bunch. All that good stuff. Here's the character ones. Um, if you were playing on mobile, you can see here what characters do, what they are, and you'd have to purchase it. But because we are have the, we have the Steam version, we're good. So we have all of these characters. It's just a matter of who do we want to use, you know? It's pretty awesome. These are the dice you can get. Um, sometimes they have a price tag off. Different color dice. And I think you can get some like marble dice and they look different. There's luminous dice. Ooh, they light up. Epic dice. It costs a lot of money. Maybe one day if we're out of everything, I can buy these. And then legendary dice. Typhoon. Midnight dice. Sunrise. Okay, if I were to grab one of these ones, it would probably be... Probably the Edge of Midnight. I think that's pretty cool. And then we have the Enhancement tab here. So what happens here is you can spend money and you can... Um, upgrade cards or get like them. So here you get a Mountain Pattern card. I think you just pretty much buy it. So what's awesome is it's only gold. You don't spend any money, any more money at all. You do not spend any money as far as I can tell. Everything you earn in game, which is what I really like. You, I mean, it paid the game. I paid 18 bucks for it. So I want to be able to not have any more microtransactions. So I really love how, hey, you got to work it and get it. And so we, these are the runes, which you can use one time. There's a, and, and I don't know if you saw that, but in the campaign while we were fighting all that stuff, there was a thing on the top right on the map where you can add a rune in. It, it works for one hour and then it gives you little bonuses. See one combat check for four hours, 12 hours, one there. So you can, you know, you can really, if you really want the little extra thing and you got some extra gold, you know, maybe I'll do it for like a really crazy, um, like an extremely crazy campaign. I might add one of these. And then we have charms, which is a one time use. You can use it anytime you want. It's really nice, but these things cost quite a bit. Um, will I buy these anytime soon? Probably not. Charms, runes. I want permanent stuff. I want treasures and stuff. So these give you um, unclaimed um, items to put on your characters as well as 
um, what's it called? Equipment sets. So there you freaking go. That was our first campaign. And now we have unlocked. Well, this one has a thing here. It has an exclamation point. Why does it have an exclamation point? I can't go to any of these. Okay, so Brigadoom is done. We can do the, um, so we can do the difficulty. So I don't know what the difficulty is here. Oh, look at that prize reward. So we have 100 gold for that. Party size bonus scenario previously completed. So if we beat this one, hopefully it loads. Yeah, more gold and scenario reward gold. So we get 300 bucks for doing this. And the difficulty increased a little bit. One wild card power up. Interesting. You know what? It's only been half an hour. I say we uh, let's do another one. Let's do heroic difficulty. Let's see if we can do this, guys. I clicked it. Brigadoom. Brigadoom. I'm ready. Brigadigadigadoom. Digadigadigadoom. Alright, I'm excited. Let's try. So it should be the same thing, but just harder. And we get more rewards. Maybe we get better cards. Probably not, though. Okay, so literally the same stuff. Okay. Seems to be the same uh, combat stuff. These guys are the same HP. Maybe just harder cards? All right, hopefully we get the, the same amount of luck. Let's do the exact same thing and hope we get a dexterity, wisdom check, and um, I'll probably do this one first, defeat a random monster. No, 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 you're fresh, go here. All right, we're good. Pick the order, good order. It, it kept it, I like that. All right, we're in. Let's go quick and fast. Now I'm saying, battered chest. What do I have here? No weapons again. Remember, out of 15 cards, only two of them are maces. Um, I really want this to work because you get four new random items. I think it's really amazing. So she has a bunch of blessings, so I do one. Crap. All right, I'll do two. We better get it. 12. Good. Good, good, good. This is a melee check. She's pretty good. And we got a three. So three new items. Used up two charms, but uh, it's pretty good. All right. We got healing potion. It's a one-time use. So anything that says potion, I seem to notice it's, it's a banish ability. I banish it and um, let's see, four, one d four. Banish it for a four to two check and holy text. Uh, this is pretty good. A divine non-combat check. So if I activate the orb in battle, I can use this and then I can recharge it with that. So that's not bad. However, I do need to discard one. So get rid of the potion of healing for now because we actually have a healing ability. So I don't care about that. Okay, get out of here. Waterfront. You remember each weapon? Ooh, eh, that's a pretty good hand. Sneak. I have to succeed in a wisdom check or he um, or he steals from me. So I'm going to get stolen right now. So I will do the ghostly form. Um, yeah, I don't think we need it. We haven't really had to mess with a lot of barriers in the last uh, in the last campaign. So we're good. Let's do a uh, quarter staff. So what's the difference here? This is a 45% chance to win. 55. Your ability is discard to add another 1d6. We'll mix it up to 68% chance if I discard this. It goes to 82. So basically the legendary sword is just way better. You can see that by the strength and melee. So we gotta hopefully get more long swords and get rid of these quarter staffs. Pretty garbo. I'm gonna do this. It's a 55% chance. It's not good. Whatever we roll, everything goes down by two. So it's really, really bad. Oh god. Uh, but I can't really be using too much items. So I think we're good. Roll it. Oh, he hit me for two. Well, oh my god. Discard four. That's my whole hand. Well, I took a chance and I messed up. Here's hoping we can recover this guy. But that was really bad. He gets shuffled back into the deck. Not a good start for this guy, but at least we got another sword. All right, your first to Harst. Let's see your first one. Here we go. Hey, oh, dude, are you like joking? Like, is this supposed to be randomized or what? It's literally the same guy in the same place uh, with Harst again. Maybe it's not as randomized as I thought. Or maybe we got lucky. Choose to close a location. No, it doesn't matter. All right. Before you act, recharge. I'll recharge my crowbar and my potion of vision. Let's go. I have a sling I'm using. Ugh. Ooh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Plus this up here. Look, look, look. Blessing of Desna. So I can activate this and it gets recharge. You have to talk card. Recharge instead of discarding it. That's really good. So we're going to use a short bow. Is 43%. That's 43, 43. Um, sling, you can... Uh, the sling is for myself. Short bow is discard for another character, right? 
Yeah, discard is for another location. So I'm gonna kill this guy. It's it's really worth sorry, it's really worth um doing this. And then I'm gonna blessing of Dazzin because it's just going to get recharged. 95% chance to close the location on the first card. Now this absolutely makes up for the fact that Valeria got like super screwed over in the waterfront. So god dude, Hearts is kicking so much ass right now. Woo! No items obtained, but it's okay, as long as we keep winning. We can purchase treasure chests, right? If we win, we might be able to open a treasure chest today. If you end your turn here, you may bury a card from your hand to recharge from the discard pile. Bury from my hand? No, I like my cards. Alright, here we go. Satyr. Oh, I've never seen this before. All damage be dealt by the Satyr is mental damage they may not be reduced huh. to defeat him on a character's check combat check displays card while displayed wait I can't use this now I thought I'd be able to use this here on a cold trait add one to you do I have to have a weapon on a combat check display this card while displayed why does it work check to defeat Oh, no, no, oh, you have to only kill it with this. But that's a combat check, right? Wait, we're not fighting him? I don't understand why this, this isn't a combat check. We're gonna take a crap ton of damage, by the way. This is not good. Even if I do the blessing here and the blessing on her, it's only a 6% chance. So we're not even going to try. We are gonna get wrecked. And this is going to be bad. But thank God we have the chain mail. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of damage, man. Eight damage. Okay, we will uh, start by uh, discarding this. Uh, let's see. Recharge to have combat damage reduced to zero. Banish it. Uh, okay, so we can banish it. Oh, we can't banish it. Why, why, why can't we activate it? I will discard. Oh no, it cannot be reduced. Oh, I discard eight cards. So that's all of my cards, guys. Yeah, they weren't kidding when they said this uh, scenario was a lot more harder. So we took the five damage right there. And the starter is banished at least. That sucks. That really does suck. Woo. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Ooh. That one's close to dead. Collapsing ceiling. I've never seen this before. The difficulty. Okay, if you fail to check. To defeat by if you fail by four or more, you are dealt one combat and might not be reduced. Huh. If undefeated, leave this barrier face up. While it's there, characters may not move and encounters uh let's see, and encounters it as the first exploration of each of the terms. So we have to keep messing with this thing. This is dexterity acrobats fortitude. Our fortitude is pretty bad. Dang, look at that. Okay, we can do this on a uh, non-combat strength or constitution. Strength or constitution. Here we go. Constitution. And we'll recharge. And now we have at least a 31% chance because this is really bad. Actually, if we fail it, we're going to have to keep doing this every turn. So I'm going to go ahead and use a blessing here. We better freaking get this. Thank God. Yeah, these cards are insane, dude. But hopefully there's better rewards. Ooh, if not, then... Yeah, we're gonna have a lot of trouble. Alright, brah, he killed that guy, finished the area. Let's go to the... Let's go to the farmhouse. Good stuff. At least the horse is having a good time. Codex. Discard this card to add one to require boon. Uh, okay, this is a 0% chance. Oh, we want it anyway. It's a fine turn. That's a very fine turn. Next card up. Let's face it up. It's a specter. What the hell is that? Ugh. The specter is immune to the mental and poison traits. If the check to defeat it does not have the magic trait, is undefeated. If the check to defeat does not have the magic trait, the specter is undefeated. If undefeated, moves to a random location. So this guy moves all over the place. And we have to use the magic trait, which we know no one has. We do not have a magic trait. That's... We can defeat it, but it's going to go somewhere else. Ugh. Let me check the magic trait. 
Wisdom. Yeah, no one has the magic trait. Well, that sucks. All right, so he finished. Let's go. Do I heal? I think I need to heal. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of this. Now we're gonna roll a 1d4, so we have a chance of a 2 to 5 health. That's 4 health back. That's good. We did take a big hit, so I'm fine with doing this one turn. But you do have a lot of turns left, so I'm fine. Oh, wow, look at all those blessings. Alright, let's continue with you. He's almost... Uh, he took a lot of damage. Warlord? Excuse me. Subtract one from each die to defeat the Warlord. <sighs> so not only... Oh my gosh. So we literally have an 11 without any modifiers, but then remember our weapons get subtracted. So we do this, 35, Luckstone, 45, and we're gonna activate a blessing here for 73, 13, not bad. I can recharge this by survival or wisdom, which is probably a 0% chance. Um, so I bury it. So it's, it's, it's good for a one-time use on this guy. <laughs> so we killed him. Good. Better than losing a lot of cards, right? Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. It was that specter, wasn't it? We can leave. <laughs> we could leave. Yeah, let's, let's take him out. So, hopefully we can kill him. Uh, combat. Combat strike. Combat melee. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah. Short bow combat. Ugh. Short bow combat, 31% chance. If undefeated, but the thing is though, if the defeat, <sighs> if undefeated, move to a random location. So what happens if we kill it, but then it stays here? Does it stay on top of the deck? I guess we'll have to find out now, which is not what I want to do. Hopefully we do kill it. Okay, what happens if we kill it? It's undefeated. So what does it do? It gets shuffled around. Well, that's really shitty. Better than, well, you gotta do that, otherwise lose. Ugh. Oh well. Alright, what's next? Don't be another one. Oh wow, a scimitar item! I've never seen that. Alright, for your combat check, reveal it 1d6. Or you can discard it for 1d6+. plus. So its potential damage is yours plus 12. It's not the best. But it is a one-handed weapon with finesse in it. Uh, I don't know if I want to spend too much to try to get it. But it's okay. Alright, we're here in the woods again. Wait a minute, where is everybody? Waterfront, woods, woods. Why are these both in the woods? I don't understand. Can you move? Um, I'm so confused. Did he get moved over here? Scimitar. I mean, do I really want it though? Do I want to use the blessings to try and get it? Who would use it? What's this longsword do? This is a D8 and a D6. This is more strength or melee to get it. It's a basic. This is an elite weapon. 1D6. 1D6. See, the thing is, longsword is just better. Except this is, um. It just said this one just has different abilities like finesse and elite. It's like, it's like, it's like some of these weapons aren't even worth it sometimes, you know? But I'll take it anyway. I'll take it. End of my turn here. Alright, something I wrecked again. Ooh, a bandit. I have to recharge one. I'll do my wooden shield. Alright, we got two long swords. 65% chance. I hope that takes into account the, the negative two ability here. Um, I could short bow to help. I will. I will short bow to help. An extra 1d4. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And so I can close the location by defeating one more en one more enemy. I'll recharge this long sword. Wait, wait, can I? This is the one I can discard, right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna get rid of the chain mill because I want to discard it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this. So, boom, 82% chance just on his own merit. 12, we got it. Area closed, so that's nine cards. I will recharge this. Uh, on closing, do we discard? Okay, I'll recharge this. Thank you. 
All right, at least we got rid of the waterfront. That's one of the difficult places here. I have to discard a card now. I'll get rid of the Ransor. My long sword is where it's at right now. Okay, 19 turns left. Two areas down. This guy is very close to dying. He's at four. Um, I should probably move to another area. I don't know why he went there. Probably because the Spectre did it, right? Intelligence or Arcane Academy. Okay, I shall do this. Ooh, Intelligence or Arcane check. That's not good, actually. Oh, oh, dude. Harst, bro. Harst is insane. Ugh. Oh. This is interesting here. <sighs> if I temporarily close this and I kill him, he's going to go here. Which is good. This is a much more easier area. We can finish this off. And then close these two areas. Nah, actually, forget it. Let's just kill him. Recharge two. Let's do the plate and the crow. Alright, we got a light crossbow, which is our good damage. We have blessings of the god in 98. Dude, Horus, man, just three times, dude. Just took him out so many times. So, good thing another area closed. Horus is like, oh, so good. Alright, three characters, two areas left. This is good. This is good, guys. Dude, if we can beat this thing, we're going to be able to open up a chest today, too. I'm liking this. However, Valeria is very close to running out of the HP. Healing a potion. I think I need to add, um, I need to put uh, Valero, Valero where um, Ky Kyra is so they can heal. Portable Ram. Reveal this card to add a one die to strength non-combat or defeat a barrier that has a lock or obstacle. You may discard it to add two dice. After playing it, you may succeed at a strength eight to recharge instead of discarding it. I don't care. Okay, we got it. Yay, we got it. Okay, cool. So I will get rid of it. We have 17 turns left with a lot of characters. Uh, I'm good. I'm so good. So I'm going to go here and hopefully he can get recharged. He can get healed up by Kyra with a potion of healing. Or hopefully it is not something crazy here. That's something crazy. Before you act, put a card on the top of your deck. I'll put one, one blessing because we're going to draw it again. This is how many 73. If we, oh god, he might die here. I mean, like, get really close to dying here. 15! Defeated. Zilgoth. Defeated. So we're gonna draw two cards. Oh, one. His hand is only one. Okay, this area is gone. Now we wanna go to here. So it's either gonna be in the farmhouse or in that other area that, um, that jerk face went to. This guy's kicking so much ass on his own. I'm loving it. Oh, a longbow! Oh, wow. For a combat check, reveal it to use your dexterity, range, plus your strength die. Oh. So that would be like a D6 for me. If not proficient, it's increased by 4. Okay, we're good. If proficient, you may discard it at another location. Oh, it's like, it's okay. It's alright. If I get it, I get it. Yeah. That's a, that's a pretty okay one. Let me just check my... Yeah, my strength is D6. So revealing this is also... This is a D8. So I would pretty much get rid of this. Longbow. If proficient with weapons, you may discard one. This card to add 1D4. So it's the same thing. Except this has potential for more if you have, um, you know, if you have the strength for it. So that's cool, I guess. What's the next card up? Is it him? Is it him? It's Caltrops. That's not a trap. It's an ep that's an item I can get, which is pretty nice. Discard a card. Goodbye, short... Uh, we want to fight. Goodbye, this. Okay, here we go. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. I must banish it. Or I can just do this. Instead of your... Yeah, let's heal. Instead of potioning. Because we have a lot of turns left. If I potion, then I can banish it and keep going. But if I heal... Oh, reveal one. Oh, crap. I keep forgetting it's... The... Okay, can we stop? C can, we, can we not do this? My bad. I'll, be, I'll use this. I think as though I really I forgot that you have to use a divine item. I'm just gonna banish this. So it's gone forever, and we'll heal this guy for hopefully three plus. Oh yeah, that's good. Three healing. Okay, now let's see what's going on. Secret stash. Huh. 
If defeated, examine the top three cards of your location deck. If you find a weapon, item, or blessing, shuffle one of those into my deck. Put the remaining back in here in any order. If undefeated, you may banish. So this is, is this thing just isn't bad. It's actually really good. I'll use a blessing for this. Cool. Secret stash. Top three cards. All right, let's see what we got. Oh my god. Arrange the cards in any order. Choose one weapon. So I want this. So I want that. I'll take this. So guys, he's up next. He's literally coming up next. This is the end, hopefully. Remember, he can leave if I'm unable to, if I defeat him, but I'm unable to close um, Karst's place. So let's go. Yes, my freaking fighter has got this. All right, bruh, I gotta close this place. I gotta close this place, dude. It should be easy. All we have to do is defeat a minion. Um, ooh, okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of some stuff here. Short bow, no. I will do this, and I will do this. 100% close, man. Let's go. 15. That was close. I almost lost. Okay. Now he has nowhere to run. If we kill him, it's over. We got this. Long sword. Oh, I have to recharge too? Oh, no. I was. I wanted to use this. Hopefully, we get another one. I healed, so maybe now the blessing is in here. I got Lux Stone. All right. Okay. All right. And we're going to help fire. And we're going to blessings. It's over! Oh, baby, 25! Cool, we did it. Yes! I can't believe we did it. Now we unlocked hard mode for this place, which I should try. But I'm really excited. We can. We got enough money. We could open up one of those chests. We earned 200 bucks. And we... Do we unlock new cards for people? No, we didn't. All right, let's see what we got. So we picked up a new weapon, a scimitar. I'll probably just give it to a... Uh, Another guy here. A bunch of weapons. And we earned another same blessing here. Alright, let's change the weapon now. I will get rid of the Quarta Staff. That's 1616. Let's get rid of it for a scimitar. Uh, yes. I don't know why. It's the same. It's literally the same thing. Except this is two handed. Like, what is the difference? It's so weird. A dagger, though. Um, let's see. For combat, reveal it. Dexterity or range. When playing another weapon you haven't already played on this check, you may discard this card to add one for the combat check. This is, um, use your dexterity or range. It's actually pretty good. When playing another weapon that you haven't already played on this check, you may discard this card to add 1d4. Like, how good is this? I don't know. Let's probably give it to him. All right, we have too many weapons here. We'll get rid of uh, the sling. Get rid of the sling. Short bow is pretty good. Crossbow, crossbow. Another location, another location. This is another location. I don't know if I want the dagger in there. I think we're okay. All the bows in the world seem good. <sighs> Actually, the sling's not bad because it's for myself. Yeah, we should probably keep the sling in. Yeah. Because this is 1d4 to myself. This is 1d4 to someone else if I need to. He needs a buff on his own. So that's good. Okay, good. Seems good, man. Now we got to delete this crap we don't need. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. We'll get rid of the potion here. Portable ram, shovel. Uh, let's see. Three more. Core step, short. Tomb of knowledge. Uh, sorry if some of these are really good, but, you know, it all depends on where you use it, right? So, let's see how much money we have. We have four... What? We only have four, 400 bucks? There's 14 bucks right there? Do I get more? Excuse me? Wait a minute. I thought we were supposed to get, like, a reward. I get this Samson if we finish everything on Legendary. Legendary difficulty. Two wild card powers. Difficulty. Party size bonus. Scenario reward. 200 bucks. I thought we would get more than that. See, we don't are we supposed to get 150 plus that 150? So 300? That should give us 500, right? Anyway, legendary is up. That's gonna be fun. Adjacent location movement. If a moss is discard... Uh, let's see. 
Hold on, hold on. If a monster power causes you to recharge, draw another one. When you acquire an ally, discard a card. Yeah. Alright, I will try this legendary difficulty next time. So, I'm gonna end it here. If you guys enjoy, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe for daily videos. Wow, this game's uh, it's a lot going on. But I have, to, I have to let you know, I'm really liking this. It's insane. We are literally still in the first um, campaign here, going through the difficulty. And there's a lot of campaigns to go to. Imagine playing them all with different classes, combinations, upgrading your characters, you know, doing all that good stuff on harder difficulties. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want to see more, because I'm more than happy to play it. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.